हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोरा टीजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 35 फॉर जिम मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन जेंगो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टास्क सो द वी विल क्रिएट टू मॉडल्स द फर्स्ट इज एडमिन मैसेजेस एंड द सेकंड इज सब्सक्राइबर मैसेजेस वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस मॉडल बिकॉज़ वी आर वर्किंग इन द ट्रेनर डैशबोर्ड ओके सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस मॉडल बिकॉज़ सब्सक्राइबर कैन सेंड द मैसेज टू द स्पेसिफिक ट्रेनर फॉर हिज ट्रेनर और admin can send the message to the trainer okay so these are the two models that i am going to create in this video and the other things are we are also going to show the messages okay from the database so we will create the template for this and then we will uh, fetch the data from the database and show in the template so these are the things that we are going to perform in this video so let's create the model first so i'll go to the uh, gym management system main and we have a models.py file here okay now what we will do here we will simply create model so this will be first of all we will create subscriber messages model okay and this will be class models.model okay and then what we are going to do the first thing we will we need subscriber okay so the first thing is we need subscriber here we have a credit subscriber model okay here you can see that and we have added this with the help with the user okay so we will not get the uh, you can also get the subscriber or you can uh, simply attach with the user whatever you want okay so i will attach with directly with the user okay so i will go here and directly attach with the user okay and now what we are going to do simply we will add with trainer okay and here the trainer will be here okay if the trainer is deleted then messages will be deleted this thing okay and then the message so this will be text field and this will be empty okay and now we will uh, make it the uh, name it we will name it let's say subscriber messages for trainer okay so this thing and uh, <coughs> we will add this in admin so let's go for the admin and at the end here we will add the this thing okay so subscriber messages and here we will show user and we will not show that uh, we will also show the trainer because admin can see this and we will also show the message that what message is sent okay and this is the thing so we have added this and this is subscriber message here we will add and this will be admin so here we will add this okay similarly we will create the subs uh, trainer messages for admin messages sorry admin messages for okay and this will be also a user because admin is also a user so this will be user okay and uh, we will when uh, admin can send this then we will uh, select the uh, select the admin and then we can send the message to the trainer okay so i think we can we can just simply remove the uh, remove this section we can just simply remove this section admin messages uh, subscriber messages uh, we can verify this we can do this via this way like we can say uh, user type user type equal to care field models dot care field and this will be this will be our
maximum length equal to 100 okay and we will say the default value the default is admin okay so the default is admin if not admin it means user is sending the message okay so this is uh, messages for just simple messages for trainer okay so we will say trainer messages trainer messages trainer message simply okay and we will add this in admin here this will be copy here user trainer message so this is user trainer message and the type user type okay so by default admin if uh, this is not set then it means message is sent by the user okay so this is simple thing we don't need to create the admin messages okay and we will just simply create one template messages okay so this is the thing we will show the user type also there okay so <clears throat> now we need to migrate this so let's simply go to here py manage.py make migrations okay and then py manage.py migrate okay and then run the server manage.py run server so if we go to the admin panel if we go to the admin panel here admin and let's say admin and we have some data okay so this is saying okay so here we have logged in now if we go to the messages for trainer here you can see that messages for trainer okay and if we go to messages for trainer and let's say we are going to add so here you can see that user type is default admin okay so let's add user is uh, sending admin and trainer is this and i'm sent it means admin is sending to the trainer this is message from admin okay and we will save this okay so this is the thing okay now we need to show this messages in the ad, uh, front end panel also i mean uh, trainer panel also okay so this will be the same template like notification so what i will do here i will go to the uh, trainer and we will copy the notif.html and paste it here and we will just simply say messages.html okay and we will fetch the messages here so i will simply say messages okay and here we need to pass the data we need to load the template and pass the data so we will go to the views.py file go to end and here we will say trainer messages so this will be messages okay and we will fetch this from trainer message dot object this okay and this will be messages dot html and we will pass this data and this will be messages okay and we will also we also need to create the urls dot py file so let's say this notifs and let's say messages so this will be messages trainer messages messages okay and we will also show this name in the sidebar so this is the left, left sidebar and here are the messages so i will say simply uh, what it is messages and this will be also messages so messages this should be password this will be here so i will copy this and make this messages and i will copy this thing paste it here and copy this and paste it here okay so this is the thing so when we click on this it will show the messages okay so we don't have any actually we are not showing the uh, messages because we need to change this message in messages 
okay and this message dot and we have data in the model what it is message okay this thing so this is message from admin okay and if you want to say like uh, uh, we can show this table also let's create the table for this so that we can uh, easily do that so class table border okay and this will be t head and this will be tr th th from and message okay and let's say we have t head t body and this will be <coughs> sorry t body and this will be t body and here it is t d we don't need anything else and here we will copy and paste this loop we don't we don't need this uh, this thing uh, one thing more we need to perform the action here we need to also add the action here so i'll say action and of course we will implement this messages with the help of uh, with the help of web socket or you can say channels okay we will just we will update this soon with the channel channels functionality we can say the web socket functionality okay so <clears throat> message is message and this will be the data and you can say this is message dot user type and this will be message so here is the thing okay we don't need to do it float end it is just simply here so from admin and this is message from admin okay and if we put if we put so this is this is a uh, this is like this should be uh, like compulsory this is compulsory compulsory field currently but we are we don't need this field compulsory so i will add blank equal to true okay and we need to migrate this so migration migrate and now run the server so when we go to the admin when we go to admin here then you can see that we don't have any asterisk sign because now this field is not compulsory so i'll say john and i'll say trainer one edited and i'll say some message and i'll remove this and save this okay so i'll save this thing so this is from user so i need to add that this is from user okay so what i will do i will simply say if sorry if messages dot user type then this will show this thing okay else 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 it will show and here we will we need to end this if and if else it will show user user sim or we can say simply that we need to put this is message from message dot why we are doing this if condition we can simply just put the user dot this is we can just simply put messages dot user why we are putting these conditions so this is from john doe this is from admin actually we don't need this uh, user type also okay so what we are going to do we will remove this okay so we can here we can simply uh, this from from this uh, user we can identify that who is sending the message 
trainer can identify that who is sending the message okay so i will remove this from the admin also this user type and here we will just simply migration migrate this okay now run this messages so here you can see that okay and one thing more we also need to count this messages so what we are going to do we simply say that messages and here we can do this count simply okay so this is two okay fine so these are the things uh, in this video i just want uh, we have just created the model and we are showing the data uh, and here you can notice that we also need to pass this counting here so that it, it it can show in every page okay so we need to create the context processor template context okay we will do this in the upcoming video okay and of course we will implement this messages and notification with the help of django channels okay so keep uh, stay tuned with this channel okay stay tuned with this code artisan lab we will implement lots of things okay and if you if you like this video then please share subscribe and uh, like this video and channel also and thanks for watching this video thank you so much for watching this video